the media should stop covering those rallies of his. That, that's my one recommendation. It just, sh it just empowers him more. Yeah, that seems yeah. like a logical response to that question. I mean, come on, we're talking about social media's impact, mm -hmm. and we jump to Trump's rally. I so, jump wherever again, I damn please, choose. okay? Topic, but, but that's twice. I'm not allowed to change the subject if I want to. I just thought we were talking about social media. All right, and, so and you I'm, talk about it then. No, well, I'm so fine. Yeah, go ahead. You mentioned. You need a lot of laws. I mean, the fact that some of these crazies all have guns is kind of, you know, and they're, not about, they're not about love and understanding anymore. It's about laws. Mm -hmm. Change the laws, you change the behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I didn't think we were going to have a conversation about AR-15s, but I'm happy to. I wanted to have a conversation about tolerance. So go ahead. Well, which you decide one? which one you want. I won't even... Fine. You're not even looking at me. I mean, I just... I hate... Because I'm thinking of the 60s and 70s and how the Black Panthers and the Weathermen had a lot of guns, and suddenly the NRA put in gun control. It's interesting, isn't it? Well, let me. Well, do you want to define to me what here. an assault rifle is? Just I'm, define it. Anyone at the like table? A, it looks like a machine gun that uh, kill Machine a lot of guns have been banned. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. When it comes well, to this, that being said, just one question. more thing. No. This is a hard line issue for people who live in border states. Uh, Many friends of mine, this is the number one and only issue. And if we sit here and act like there isn't a crisis, that it's just it's crazy people living in border states that think that there's a crisis at but a like, winning like I ticket just for said, Trump Like I just forward. said, this guy who's coming in wants to help those countries. That's mm -hmm. the way to solve the problem. Keep them there happy or whatever. Solve them. Give them a house. Give them food. Help them. Help their mm -hmm. children. Give the Nicaraguan the uh, Stop the house. crime rates. Well, we've had a I'm bunch of liberal about guests helping. who do not Hold want to on. send in aid I at all. I listen to you. Let me just finish. <laughs> yeah, part of your job is to listen to me. <laughs> okay, so here's the just deal. Saying. Here's what's here's what's not going to happen today. I don't know if I want it's that. It's one thing to talk to Jesus. It's another thing when Jesus talks to you. Exactly. Okay, well, that's different. if I'm not correct. But no, I'm, I'm hearing <laughs> voices. It, we turned it into a, a discussion about the criticism of value right. voters in this country, a criticism of Mike Pence and his faith, Jesus speaking to him, you saying that. I think Jesus speaks to me every morning because but I'm... This is a beauty I, about but, Jesus. We don't have to get mad about it because Jesus just, defends but, himself. But, but, but here's, the, here, here's the thing. But I... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut this down because... Where is the Republican Party right now who has all the power in the world to do something about this man? Mm -hmm. I mean, what do they need, a launch to convince them? What is it that well, will do it? I think my question mm -hmm. is, what do, you, do you want him impeached right this second? Because I want him out of office when we were, But when we were <laughs> maybe gang, I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know how they're going to do it. So, I'm let him finish the, 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 the thought. Well, hold on, let me just thought. clarify. I'm talking about the people in power, the Republicans in power. I'm not talking about people who are Republican. Meaning, yes. what will but they, they have do? Less so power than they have just as much or less power than I do. You asked me a direct question about yeah. Republicans being in power. I know yeah. a few that are in power, Joy, one way or another. The day after President Trump was elected, you're already calling for impeachment. Yes, if he gets us into a nuclear war, obviously there's a conversation that should be taking place. Maybe that's be too In late, worst case though. scenario. Mm. He has a whole core base of supporters, whether you like it or not. Clearly, you don't like it. And his approval rating is the you said yesterday that he shouldn't even be tweeting about that in general so we have to be judicious and it's right, tweet, real can i get through this yeah. please yeah. tweeting it was bad timing since so, she's you know pledging what? to fight to can i say something <laughs> now is that okay yes, go ahead. Enjoy? Do I have yes permission? you may now i have that permission I to speak now on amy klobuchar we're all good <laughs> okay two quick things number one i have friends who are at her now all right no no by all means keep going Joy. no if you're gonna have a hissy fit we can't continue <laughs> Those who think we're powerless to do anything about the greenhouse effect are forgetting about the White House effect. And then he signed into law the Clean Air Act Amendment of 1990, one of the most sweeping environmental yeah. statutes yeah. ever. Yeah. This president that we have now is trying to unravel everything that he did and Obama did. And if I ever become a one-issue voter, it will be about pollution and the greenhouse effect and, and the fact that... Can we focus on the president, yeah. please? I, I, just, I don't want to talk about Trump. Uh, well, I when do we're in the second, moment so of, excuse, We're honoring a great uh, excuse president Excuse me a second, past. please. I, I want to talk about but the we're different... In honoring, but I'm not interested in your one issue. I don't care what you're interested in. I'm talking. Well, I don't care you what you're what? interested in either. We'll be right back. Okay?
sorry. Telling someone you, if you are offended yeah. by Kazir Khan, you should be offended by a congressman yeah. saying that he deserves a Purple Heart. That's a we big thing for somebody. He was but, talking yeah. about the abuse he if was taken in the hearing. That's what he was referring but to. It's but ridiculous. It's, People get their legs blown off right. and stuff purple, get right, purple, purple hearts. hearts. But I actually think that. See, I'm with Democrats Trump. Democrats as well. And they're afraid was of proud. losing their seats because no, they not. have to agree with Trump and protect Trey Trump Gowdy from stepping the truth down. and from the Mueller investigation. Trey Gowdy and is you stepping down. He's not going to be in office anymore. He's not worried about anything. He is. You got your wish. Oh, please, with the clapping, he's one of the good ones. I think that he's not. Yes, he is. He's no, so he's this not. is the problem. No, do you want not. Trump people or do you want Where's non Trump the bell? people? Let's please push back on wrong with that. This makes my head explode, which, by the way, I hope Democrats do run a Democratic Socialist. Do you hope that just, we win? Do you win uh, the Democrats? No, because I think you'll lose spectacularly, and then I will look forward to election night when I finally get to tell everybody I told you so if you end up running a radical. The problem with socialism, in the words of Margaret Thatcher, at a certain point you run out of spending other people's money. Venezuela, one of the richest countries <coughs> in the world in the 70s. Now, the average Venezuelan has lost 24 pounds because they're starving to death. 90% of I the country is like living in poverty. I think she's talking more about Scandinavia than Venezuela. As well. I, but uh, I'm sorry. I need. This is what I need from her. Name one country that socialism has ever worked, and also every Sweden. every democratic socialist Copenhagen. who is going um, on TV Denmark. saying that it's good Norway. needs to start paying ninety percent in taxes Iceland. on your tax form. No, on your tax form. On your tax form, I think you should start paying the amount of taxes that every socialist in this country thinks you need to. Because if you think the government is so good at okay. spending money, look at the VA. Oh, no, no because it is dangerous. I it just told dangerous. you several countries what about that do it. Countries? But but I'm sorry. Hold yeah. on a minute. Hold Hold on, everybody, everybody, of... God bless you all. I, hate that bell. Hold on. I know you hate the bell, then everybody stop talking over country, each other and I won't hit the bell. The... Enormous tax break to the very, very wealthy in this country. Mm -hmm. that, that tax break doesn't have to be so generous to those really rich people, does it? Because if you don't give that money to them, what happens to that money? Better schools, I better think... post office, I'm sorry, better garbage pickup, better people. Pick up, better I was surprised. I, can I jump in on this? Because I, I will say, first of all, Joy, thank you for saying this. Because I think it's important for you to recognize that so many people were upset and offended. And I do know that there's going to be a point in time when I probably say something on the show that gets everybody riled up. It's the nature of live television in a discussion like this. He, uh, he said no to 60 minutes because he doesn't know what you're going to ask him. And he doesn't have the answers. Mm -hmm. So he goes to his pal, Sean Hannity who's been trashing me, by the way. So let's discuss Sean Hannity yes. for a second. Sean Can Hannity. I say one thing? You said, Sean, Sean, is, my, Sean is, was my, fr is my friend. I, I worked with him for years. I don't Full care. disclosure. No, no, I'm just oh. disclosure. <laughs> I know you <laughs> I know you I, I really don't. Wait, can I finish Okay. Like, that's good. the thing about this, is good. it's not about... Right. It, but I don't care it. about Sean Hannity. I care about the fact that we He's have... He's a collaborator. Could I finish my oh. thought now? He's... Why does the party stick with him? Why? Yeah. Because the alternative that is being presented in front of a lot of Republicans is socialism, third-term abortions, things that I just could never get behind. And you have to present something that is rational. Well, those two become... things are being used as cudgels against no, Democrats. Because there are nuances to I'm socialism not... and infantilism. I think I it's have not made... what's really happening. So people need to understand what those words I'm really a, mean. I'm a highly educated woman. I know exactly what those things mean, and I understand what Bernie Sanders is presenting in front of me. I don't think you need to be educated to agree or disagree. I think people can have different that's opinions. That's true. I'm and sorry. And oftentimes, yeah. that's not what you were saying, um, but oftentimes... And I feel like mm -hmm. when Abby and I are asked to be responsible for the sins of this administration, Nobody's it is unfair. Nobody's asking you to do that. But when you say when but Republicans, we I am a Republican. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But why is Kelly so shocked? Shocked, well, I We tell shouldn't you. make levity All of, of this. Sudden. We're talking about the abuse of a woman. I mean, look at that photo. Two. We should not We're be laughing. About Kelly. Or We're talking about, about Kelly. We're like, not talking about abuse right now. Don't say something like that. And one alleged like, TRO. We are laughing and making We are laughing at him being shocked. It's not. It's very serious. Well, and as a Republican, I am offended. As a Democrat, the, I'm offended by Republicans. <laughs> you know what? Well, look, 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 ladies. So, let's, 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 let's talk about the issue at hand. Let's talk about the issue at hand, which really is that I mean, they didn't I don't, protect I don't think from this within. should be political. I don't think this should be about Democrats and Republicans. Eric Kushner doesn't have his security mm -hmm. clearance yet. He's I still with the temporary security clearance. How is he going to solve the Middle East clearance. crisis without it? I don't know how he's going to do it. <laughs> well, we do have a statement. Well, you're offended by Republicans, so all we, Republicans I probably and everywhere. Much. Offended by me sitting here. I'm offended I'm a by a party that backs a racist. That, oh, my uh, God. That, that, Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Megan.
72% of the Republican Party thinks you know, he's a good role model. I'm, I'm actually going on the Van Jones show on Saturday, and I was actually looking forward to talking about this in a way that yeah. is respectful yeah. and not being told that just because I'm a Republican, I'm offending you. We are not going to move the needle one way or the other, just throwing out platitudes and hubris like that. Yeah, and, and I would like to have a real conversation either. about oh, it. Oh, really? Oh, really? We'll I don't see. know why you're sitting here saying you're offended by all Republicans. Do you know that, do you know that my father was accused of being racist? That old, uh, that old Beach Boy song, Bomberan. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, but Joy, you know me. You know that I don't come on here, and I never defend anything having to do with Russia or yeah, Putin. I think true. it's, yeah, I it's think just it's just horrific. Putting it on you. It's not all personal. No, no, I know. Yeah. I just think that I. What I also found fascinating at the very, very, very bottom: only 25 percent of Americans are comfortable with a socialist becoming president. How many? So 25 percent. That's it. And well, like they I said, when they realize what that means, they'll get them uh, around. Please, uh, people are smart. Okay. So, so I'm just I. saying. Do you know what's helping Pete Buttigieg? So am I. So am I. But there's a difference okay, between disagree. socialist and democratic. You disagree socialist. that I'm smart? No, I disagree with the idea right. that socialism is a bad thing in a, the way they're describing well, it. Uh, democratic socialism. The, yeah, the way they democratic describe it. it. I but miss today, when she's not here. I mean, it's just, I'm just trying to explain huh? to you the other side and why he's a great candidate and why democratic socialists could be leading you towards the path towards Trump getting reelected. But instead, I'm told that I don't understand what democratic socialism is. I assure you, Joy, I do. I agree. You come for one of us. You come for all of us mm -hmm. at this table, hands down. I love you, Joy. You know that. Um, thanks for looking up when I say that. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> you know what? I'm done, actually. And you, well, you're I'm not. Had, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm very, defending you. You don't want um, a beer, You know what? Right? I would have a beer. I don't think it's appropriate what he said, but it's I, not. I, I don't. I I'm don't. Having, you know what? Thank you, Megan. I appreciate yeah, that. I just, mm -hmm. I, I wish that he would practice what he preaches, as we all should practice what we preach, coming together, because we are all ultimately Americans. You know what's great? Colin. Fox had to apologize for something. Yeah. They did. And with your name in it. Yeah, yeah that's right. Well, and that should, be your, they, that should be your 20th anniversary gift. Paul Ryan has been an enabler of No, he of hasn't. That, that is factually inaccurate. He has gone up word. against Trump. I have it's heard part of the reason word. why he's stepping down right now. That is factually inaccurate. The one of the reasons no, he's stepping down. he has down. gone up against Trump time and time again. He's been crucified by hardcore conservative what media as a result so big, of it. Big deal against the Trump. Immigration, Tell me. What is the immigration, anti immigration, uh, uh, talking about. He got Neil You know, he was one of the few people that came out during the grab him in the blank tape that came out vociferously against him. This is the problem, though. What do you want? If Paul Ryan isn't I good enough and people. Out. But that's not logical. <laughs> We live in a democracy. We should want two healthy parties I do want debating two against each other. But if, you, but if Paul Ryan is the greatest sin, this is how we got Trump. The group of people you are describing has made a deal with the devil, and now they're all going to lose in November. First of, all, first of all, that is just not true. There, there are oh, still people there. I'm sorry, Trey Gowdy and, and Senator Scott That's who are coming, coming on tomorrow. tomorrow, they have not made deals with the devil. In fact, Trey Gowdy's saying, I'm out. I'm not going to do this Every anymore. Every time and he Sonny's says right. something great about Putin, but Sonny it's waiting right. on silence. That is not Republican true. Party. I do it all the time on this show. It Just is you. not true. Are you that is office? not true. There are many are you people. A no, but TV, but TV we... has debatably more power than some people in office. So please don't sit here and say because I have her on for office, I'm not trying to make an impact. You are. And I will I, say, I do. but you the are. idea, Sonny is exactly right. The idea that we shouldn't sit and fight and continue to do this is 100% correct. I didn't agree Vote with it. Blue. I didn't agree when Jeff Flake did it. But I will say to sit here. But the reason why, why the why, Syrian why, why? You, think, you think Kim Jong Un is less moral? Than Trump, do you? Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, I, got, I think Putin, the aiding and abetting of topic? Assad right now. On what topic? Chemical gassing of children. Last time I checked, America isn't doing that to anyone. Oh, but I think the more. Oh, yeah. Wait a second, Kim Jong Un. Let that. me. You know, you, 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 you what he's talking about. Joy, you. I am trying. I'm really trying right now, and I know that you're. That there's some frustration about the way we're communicating about this, and I completely understand it. But I will say, it's hard for me to sit here with moral relativism about many things with Trump. If you think that Kim Jong Un, Vladimir. Putin and Bashar al-Assad and President Trump are the exact same thing. It's, it's when you lose all okay, arguments me with me in every said. way. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is that I see that the two of them are backing off of war, and I don't. I see Trump provoking war. That's Trump what I see. Do you know how you're provoked war by That's the aiding and abetting? Do, if, if there's any understanding of history on this, that right, Assad would not have the power he has right now if it weren't for Putin amping him up, giving him military, bombing yes, that hospitals. Yes, that's has suggested, which is stop the shutdown and negotiate. Why can't they do well, that I and put what, everybody back I to think, work? What's wrong with that idea? I don't have a problem with that, Let's but I think that he will. But I think that's.
that's not I'll Nancy's fault. That's, that's not, not happen, bipartisan. Though. That's his fault. I'll tell you why that's but not going to happen. But you know what's not productive? Saying that it's all Trump's fault. Because then when you want to know what happens, then I go, all right, let me give you a list of what Nancy and Chuck haven't done what the Democrats are doing. And what I'm trying to do this morning, because I came in, as you know, will be neurotic and paranoid about this. And Fox will just back him up because I would his... be careful about that, though, because... Well, uh, let me finish the thought. Okay. His failure as a president means their failure as a station. Mm -hmm. So they have everything invested in propping him up mm -hmm. and backing his lies. And there are a lot of great people at Fox there News. Are. Yeah, but there are plenty who don't. And, and there's the a lot that are. Position, I think the, the Fox, yeah, but you could talk about Fox every network. base watches the ones that do not. And I think that's where they get him. so much. And I think it's dangerous because I know that I've been promised many times before, including on this very show, that we had it, that we did have the smoking gun, and I will still stay gun on national television. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> thank you very much. I'm sorry. Uh, the reason I didn't say gun was because Steve Scalise was coming on, and I didn't want anybody to misunderstand the joke. That's why I didn't do it, just so we're all clear. Do no, no, that, you, you're allowed to. No, it was honestly. just, you know, it was... Mentor and, you know, first lady of The View, and I think it's incredible that you've been so amazing. Oh, I like that. First lady. <laughs> And you are also as well, Joy. I know the ladies here, but you know, <laughs> if this affair and this so-called yep. payment and listen, get pass get, judgment can, on me all the way. I'm just more scared of North Korea than I am what our president does. We are all petrified life. of that. But thank you, ma'am, with that red shirt on. Megan, thank you very much, Megan. Over here. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I got you right We are all Julie. petrified <laughs> as you are about what he's mm -hmm. doing in the world. Yes. If, I'm sorry. I, sick, I should be able to make it better. You I should. I'm sorry. Leave your bedroom out of this. <laughs> no, kidding. I'm not, I'm not kidding. <laughs> She's kidding. It's a joke, Megan. Do yeah, we never get any insight hilarious. from Megan? But you, I'm you actually said last now. time we never. I'm no. saying that she has the right to have her own voice and her own platform. But she I looked can't... hypocritical, and we know that he's but a cyber bully. But she called out. She said you might be skeptical I'm of this. But but with all due respect, yeah. my husband's on television. Yeah. Her husband's. Uh, they, when you are two public people, I you know today is Melania's birthday. Obvious. Happy birthday, Melania. I know. I know. That was necessary. Come on, that's so mean. What we was mean about because, it? Because, because... What was mean said, about it, Megan? Because Tell me her, what was mean. It's just what you, you know just what? did. You, know, you have no sense of humor. Oh, That's please. your problem. It's not that I don't have a sense of humor. It's because I feel bad for our first lady. Yes. About him and what a jerk he is. He is yes. a jerk, but I think to, like, point out, happy birthday, Melania, your life totally blows. We're going to talk about it on national television. She's mm. aware how bad this is. I wish you would understand who the target of my jokes is. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that the audience, right didn't, over the audience didn't laugh either. I mean, they, well, they were Joke, a, maybe. Okay. So what? So sue me. Okay, so chance. here's the I there are a lot it is Trump country, red. If we went to a restaurant, somebody tried to kick you out, they would have a fight. I mean, I would go absolutely crazy. I would defend you. I would never Sister, let anyone kick you out of a restaurant. You too. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not the American.